Hello, my darling. Back with another video. This one's going to be short and sweet. We'll always say that, and they're never short and sweet. This is a special edition of my videos. You know, I'm always in the stores at some in some way, shape, or form, okay? Because I'm always shopping for a thrift box or just wanting to relieve stress and play in the racks. Like, there are times when you you guys, you guys are my people. You know that we can go to a thrift store and just play all day in the racks and not buy anything. Anywho, I went to um, Clothes Mentor and um, they were having a clearance sale. It was 50 off of clothing, 70 off, 50 percent off of clothing, 50 percent off of um 70% off of accessories, shoes, and handbags. And I found a purse that I have been longing for for a very long time. This is my Marc Jacobs satchel. And I'm going to tell you how much it, I'll tell you how much it was. And the satchel comes with the dust bag. Came with the dust bag. And the owner actually left the original price on it. So this was the hang tag. This is what the original price was. You see that? Okay. There we go. $995. Yes, people. This bag was $995. Whew, but y'all know I didn't pay that, so don't even look at don't even look at me crazy because I see y'all like, do y'all what you doing? <laughs> I did not pay nine hundred ninety five dollars. We just stuck this back in there. So at Clothes Mentor, they've had it priced at a hundred and twelve dollars. So they had it priced at $112. When I first saw the bag, I actually saw the bag when it was $112. And I was like, I'm not paying that. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it used to be $995, but somebody has used it. So it was $112. And then they did 50 off. And it came up to 50 something dollars, 55 or $60. And I was like, I mean, I could pay that, but... Let's see if it's going to go down any further. So it went down to 70% off. And when I went in, I actually took in some um, some clothes and old eBay stuff that I had lying around. So I actually walked away with this bag. It came down to $36 um, when it was 70% off. And I had $20 worth of stuff. So I actually paid $16 for this $995 bag. So... Let's take a closer look at it. Okay, guys, so I'm back. I don't know if you can tell, but it's about three hours later. Um, as you can see, I'm a little more ragged. Uh, Riley decided that she wanted to wake up from her nap, and she wanted to play, and she wanted to eat, and so I just took three hours and just spent with my baby girl, um, but now I've put her back down. She's with her dad. They're watching Sesame Street. So now I'm back to tell you about this marvelous bag. So back to the Marc Jacobs bag. One of the reasons why I wanted it, um, let me start here. One of the reasons why I wanted it um, is because it was actually a bag that was on my board. Now, the Marc Jacobs bag wasn't on my board per se. Um, and by my board, I mean up here, right? So you guys have been seeing, you know, all my pictures and stuff. And I've been talking about silver being one of the um, trends that I am really, really excited about. And not just silver, but um, gold, bronze, the metallics just in general. And so having this on my board day in and day out, and this is the Dior rubber bag, and silver right here, Ooh, right here, the dear rubber bag and silver that I'm totally wanting. Um, seeing silver every day on my board, and the, on the back is green. I don't know if you can tell it's green, um, but this is from Harper's Bazaar. But once again, having this on my vision board day in and day out, when I'm out shopping, like my eye automatically goes towards silver and gold because it's something that I'm definitely wanting in my wardrobe for the fall. And so when I saw the silver bag, I was just so excited. And I, I hope that you can get how silver really is. 
So when I walked into the store and I saw the bag, I was like, oh my gosh, like that is the bag. You guys know how I feel about a leather bag and the Marc Jacobs bag. Marc Jacobs and Marc by Marc Jacobs bags are really, really great leather. Of course, this is, this is an older edition. I'm going to say this is probably five, six, seven years old. Probably could be a little bit more. Um, but I want to show you the details. So on the buckle right there, can you see that? has Marc Jacobs on the buckle. It has two pockets and, a, you know, ooh, can I open it? So as a mom, you know, I'm packing stuff everywhere. Oh, what's this? Oh, the style. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. They kept everything. Okay. So this is, the bag is actually from Nordstrom and it's, the style is the Venetia in calf leather. Oh, that's so cool. They kept everything, honey. All right. So that was a welcome surprise. Um, and it's really, really well worn. Like it's not bad at all. So let's go back to the bag. So remember, it's all in the details. So having the zipper there doesn't have any pockets on the sides, which is fine because we have the pockets in the front. And then here's the back. This is something that I love. In a well-made bag, you'll always have the divots on the bottom so that the bottom doesn't get all nasty and mucky. Okay, so these right here. So let's open up the bag. So it has a zip, of course, like I just showed you. But you can also clasp that over and open it up. And so I already showed you the dust bag. So the dust bag came with it. And then, whoops, this. Had more stuff. The person who's back, the person really took care of the bag because they left everything. So it talks about the leather. So here's the inside of the bag. It's very well made. What's that? Piece of paper. Very well made. It's suede on the inside. Is that a stain? What is that? Mm, has like a pen mark right there. You can see it. But it's suede on the inside. You can see it says Mark Jacobs right there on the panel. Another little pocket. Right? And then on the other side, like it's all in the details, all in the details. So on the other side has another zippered pocket. And I don't know. Let's see. If, let's see if the camera will pick that up. That also says Mark Jacobs on it. Another little pocket. So yeah, suede on the inside, great leather outside. You know what? If I had the $995 to pay for it, I'm going to put this back in there. If I had the $998 to pay for this bag when it originally came out, I might have, could have, would have, should have, could have. But I did not, <laughs> and I will not. Because once again, I got this bag for $16 after taking in $20 worth of merchandise. After them giving me $20 for some merchandise that I had. Um... And I know you guys are going to ask, what is it that I took in? I took in just some stuff from eBay. I, I want to say that they took five or six pieces. And the thing about it is one of the reasons, you know, if you are a thrifter, if you're already paying like two, three, four, five dollars for your clothing, taking it to a clothes mentor or, you know, Plato's Closet or whatever, it's not really going to phase you because you only paid like three dollars anyway. So for me, it really wasn't any loss. I think the people that have the issues with, you know, the amount of money. Is she okay? She's with her daddy. Okay. So the people that have the big issues with, you know, reselling to a clothes mentor or Play-Dohs or anything like that are people that really spent probably like full price. And so somebody giving them two or three dollars is just like, eh, but I did not. So this is my bag. I'm in love with it. It's part of the silver trend for the fall. 
and I will be so excited to do to carry this bag in some of my Instagram photos. But once again, it's just another example of how to create a fabulous wardrobe on a budget. You know, we never pay retail here at DionDean.com. And on my on my YouTube channel, we just don't. It's just against our religion. So, you know, this is another way. If you have a store like a, a clothes mentor or, you know, a style encore or Plato's Closet, you can find some really great deals. And this is one of the deals that I found. So thanks for stopping by. I'm going to be bringing you more fashionable, fashionable designer items for $16. <laughs> Love you. We never pay retail. Bye.